Well, here's a few news articles that are sort of fun. Um, so China has a app for um, the Olympics that has to do with detecting COVID. Although for some unknown reason, it's not going to load up for me. All right. And what they found is it's full of security flaws, which is very common because Chinese apps are designed not to encrypt your stuff securely, but to send it to the government. So the government can monitor everything you do. And they found that it is, of course, sending your data to the government with little or no encryption and without telling you that, um, which is quite common for Chinese apps, but uh, considered a failure for American apps. And of course, it does mean that third parties can spy on your data, too, which is, I think, not their primary interest. But of course, that's not very surprising. And apps tend to be ridiculously insecure anyway. Um, I may be able to teach the mobile app security class again next semester, and then we'll see it. And mobile apps are ridiculously bad in many security ways. So the, the Earth is warming. It's a big problem. And uh, one plan that a lot of people have proposed is that we're going to have to start artificially cooling the Earth. And one of the ways is to inject junk up in the stratosphere, the way volcanoes do, to reflect the sunlight. And if we do that, that will cause more problems for some parts of the Earth, but fix problems for other parts of the Earth. And so people are arguing about it. A consortium of scientists has said we should absolutely not do it. We need to find a better way. But uh, I think we're not going to find a better way. I think this is where we're absolutely headed, is trying to put more pollution up to artificially control the effect of our previous pollution, uh, which is not a very good place to be. But I think that's where we are. Anyway, Google had a white noise sound on their speakers, which was apparently very good, and people loved it, and their babies loved it, but it was so big a file that it was four gigabytes of data to play it for one night. So they replaced it with a smaller file that repeats every 10 minutes, and now people are saying they can hear the repeat every 10 minutes, and it wakes them up. It's no good for sleeping anymore, all of which is very surprising to me. It would seem to me that you could just have a simple mathematical function to create random white noise. You wouldn't need to download a sound file at all. But anyway, apparently that's much harder than I think, and Google has cheapened the product and made everyone very mad. <clears throat> and you've probably seen Wordle, where you guess a five-letter word. So someone made Swerdle, where you can guess a four-letter swear word. And uh, you only have four guesses to do it, so that's the, uh, the easier, lowbrow version of Wordle, which is taking the world on by storm. Yeah, yeah, Swerdle's out there. Wordle's out there. It's kind of fun. Um, all right. Just like a single-player version of Scrabble, sort of. Uh, let's see. This is fun. I'll just mention these. Some of them were in the podcast earlier. But anyway, so there's a... Uh, a privilege escalation script suite. Privilege escalations are how you move from a low privilege to a high privilege, like root or administrator, and there are a bunch of tricks. And somebody has made a script, a generic script to try many techniques, which is very good. There are a lot of these that never seem to get fixed, like uh, Metasploit has privilege escalations that just keep working. So anyway, this is another uh, place you can go to get privilege escalation scripts, which is good. Singapore has banned cryptocurrency ads and promotions to where it'll be very difficult to promote your cryptocurrencies anymore. They are upset about them, just like a lot of the U.S. government is, because very many cryptocurrency projects are scams, and they'd like to sort of discourage the whole industry as being unhealthy, sort of like cigarettes or something, which is probably not uh, unjustified. And this has been amazing. I've been watching this go on for a month. 5G is rolling out, which we've been preparing for for years, but for some reason they didn't make it compatible with the equipment in airplanes, and nobody seems to have noticed or planned for this. So now they were supposed to have 5G rolling out about a month ago, and the airplane industry keep delaying it a couple weeks at a time as the giant 5G rollout was to come out saying that if you have any 5G towers within two miles of an airport, it will make it unsafe to land planes. So uh, this seems to be going nowhere. Um, apparently both sides did not prepare for this or plan for it, and now we've got a serious uh, conflict. Um, 
and I'm not seeing any any resolution of it. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. Hold out 5G for a couple of years to update all the airplanes or something? Or try to move all the 5G to some different spectrum after you've already sold the, uh, the towers and the phones? I don't know how they're going to resolve this. But there does appear to be quite a conflict about it. Anyway, all right, I think that's up to the official time. Let me stop this one.